but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you guys are ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We're in 1 Kings chapter 8, and uh, we're kind of, the temple's been finished, and now there's a whole dedication that Solomon's going to have in bringing the Ark of the Covenant from Zion now into the house he prepared for the Lord, put it up into the Holy of Holies, or as we found out in the last chapter, the Oracle of the Temple. And so this is a pretty long chapter, but uh, there's a lot of great stuff in this chapter, from the mere fact of just bringing the Ark of the Covenant and putting it into the house that uh, Solomon prepared for the Lord and his, his great temple. And he kind of goes over the history of Israel from coming out from the land of Egypt and to where they are now, and even David's desire to build this temple in the first place and how it was given unto Solomon. And it's just a reminder, as we see a lot of times throughout the Bible, a reminder uh, to Israel, all right, because everyone was listening to this uh, dedication. It's just a reminder to Israel. We see many times of, you know, what God has done for them. And you've heard me talk about in the past of always trying to have that attitude of gratitude, always recalling the past ways God has blessed and, and carried you through and led you through the different trials and ups and downs of life. And having that attitude of gratitude is just going to help you better appreciate uh, who God is and not only that when you face new trials it will help you to strengthen your faith and understand you know what the God who helped me out in the past is the same God that can help me out here in the present the present as well and they go forward and then he prays unto the Lord and in this prayer he goes through multiple different uh, things that the people of Israel could pray to God about he says those that have sinned those who are strangers to the land those who if, if the there's a plague in Israel. If we're being besieged by a different army, and he goes through all these different scenarios, all right, praying to God, but also giving an example unto the Israelites of just, hey, anything you're going through, God can help you with. If you pray unto the Lord with the right heart, all right, and that's very important. He does talk about the right kind of heart, all right, because the Bible does talk about in James chapter 4 about how we can ask amiss if we're trying to ask and pray unto the Lord so we can consume things upon our own lust, upon our own fleshly desires and not upon a desire, good godly desire to serve the Lord and grow in him. So the heart is very important. He, he very much focuses on that part. But my main thing I got out of this chapter is through all these different scenarios that he presents in his prayer that, hey, if the people with the right heart turn unto you, turn unto this house and pray unto you, Lord, you will hear their prayer and answer that. And that's a great reminder to us that, hey, any situation we face, and he talked about plagues, uh, uh, battles, being besieged, being taken away in, in captivity. And we find out later in the history of Israel when they were taken away to Babylon and to Assyria. He's like, hey, if they're taken away in captivity, if your people with the correct heart, all right, turn and pray unto you, Lord, you will hear their prayer. All right. And obviously we don't turn and pray unto the temple today as Christians. No, we pray unto God. All right. We have that, that, that uh, immediate access to him now, uh, unlike back then in Israel where they had to go to a priest and so forth, uh, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. All right, and I hope that's something you guys remember that no matter what you're going through, whatever the situation may be, whatever the trial or value you may be going through at this time, you can always turn to God and pray and ask for his help, his guidance, his wisdom, his grace to help you in your time of need. But remember, your heart is very important as well. Do you have the correct heart? Is there sin in your life you need to take care of? If there's sin in your life that's causing you to go through uh, these trials or go through these rough situations, get that right with the Lord as well. Confess and repent. Turn back unto Him. And then they finish off the uh, rest of the dedication of the temple and the Ark of the Covenant now in the temple uh, with a lot of sacrifices. I don't remember off the top of my head how many things they sacrificed, but it was a lot of sacrifices and it was and it was for a good reason it was just hey this is bringing God so to speak into the temple as soon as they put the ark into the holy of holies the bible describes it as if the the presence of the lord now filled the temple and and it was a great thing to honor through sacrifice as well so that's all i got for today's chapters guys uh remember you can no matter what situation you're facing you can always come to god in prayer all right with the correct heart with a correct attitude turn unto him and pray and ask for wisdom and grace in your time of need hope you guys have a great day stay safe stay healthy god bless